Hi guys. Recently, uh, Gun Geek put up a video describing how he pulls apart 762 by 39 military surplus ammo and replaces the full metal jacket military bullet with a civilian uh, hunting type soft point. And uh, he described his method of pulling the uh, rounds apart using his reloading press and uh, a pair of pliers, basically. And I've done that on occasion, but uh, I thought it might be worthwhile just to show people a couple of the standard types of bullet pullers, uh, purpose-built bullet pullers. So we've got two of them on the uh, on the bench here. The first one we'll look at is the collet style bullet puller, and uh, this particular unit is an RCBS. Now it comes in this box. You can see the uh, the part number 9440. And you basically get, when you order that unit, you get what you see here. And this is basically like a die body, which is uh, bored out considerably at the bottom. And there's this uh, bevel on the inside of it here. It comes with a lock nut. And it comes with this collet closer at the top. And that's basically just a rod with a thread on it. And you've got this handle on it, and that fits into the top of the die body like that. Now, in addition to those components, you're going to need collets, or a collet, depending upon how many calibers you want to work with. Now, this is what a collet looks like. As you can see, it's split and bored all the way through. And the splits allow this collet to be squeezed closed. Now, these collets come in a variety of sizes. You can look those up on uh, the RCBS website if you so desire. This particular one is a 30 caliber collet. They come in, uh, like I said, in a variety of sizes. Uh, 22, 30, 32, 6.5, 35. There's a bunch of different sizes. So you will need a collet for every particular range of uh, bullet that you want to pull. Now this goes into the die, or the body. In this fashion here, there's the top part of the collet is threaded. And of course that thread engages the closer. So this collet is inserted from the bottom and the closer goes in from the top and you basically can screw that in. Now you'll notice that there's there's a bevel on the collet at the top here or sorry at the bottom and the inside of the die body also has a bevel on it so basically when this is screwed in when the handle is turned it will close the collet and grasp the bullet so just give you a demonstration of how that looks if we close we turn the handle here you can see that as I turn that handle the collet is pulled in against that shoulder and the fingers of the collet progressively close down and that's what actually grasps your bullet when you want to pull it out. Alright, let's have a look at how the collet style bullet puller is used when it's set up in a reloading press. So we've screwed the a body of the bullet puller into the press. It doesn't have to be screwed into the press uh, terribly far, just enough threads to give it uh, good engagement. You don't have to go you know, all the way down into the machine or anything like that. And you want to have the handle uh, loose here. You want to have a bit of, a bit of play in it and that ensures that the the collet fingers are opened. You also want to have the shell holder which is appropriate for your cartridge installed in the uh, the press ram. So to proceed we'll just take the cartridge. In this case this is an old 7.5mm uh, French uh, round and we're gonna snap that into the uh, shell holder and we'll run that up into the into the uh, bullet puller and keeping a little bit of pressure on the handle of the machine we're gonna close down on the Call it closer here, screw it in a little bit to put some pressure on the bullet. And with that firmly in place, we can then uh, move the handle, and that will have pulled the cartridge basically right off the uh, off the bullet. So the bullet is still stuck up inside there. So there's our cartridge with our powder in it. And then we can loosen up the handle here. Oh, and the bullet fell right out. So there's our bullet pulled out from the uh, from the cartridge. So it's it works pretty slick sometimes. Mostly it depends upon the uh, the ammunition. Now, if you have 
bullets which are um, sealed in the case with a bullet sealant. A lot of military ammunition uses an asphaltic type compound around the bullet to waterproof it. It may use lacquer um, cartridges which have been loaded for a long time. There's often a mechanical bond between the actual bullet and the brass. There may be a biometallic reaction which occurs which essentially glues the bullet in place. Those may be very very difficult to pull using one of these collets, um, these collet bullet pullers. One trick to loosen up those stubborn rounds is to actually seat them a couple of thousands deeper in the case. So setting your seating die up in the press first and actually pushing the bullet slightly further into the case will break that, uh, that bond in a lot of cases. And once you've done that, it uh, sometimes is much easier to pull the bullets using this type of, uh, of system. Of course, the benefits to using this type of system is that they're, they're very tidy. It leaves all the powder in the in the cartridge case. You don't have uh, a lot of uh, you know spillage from beating a bullet puller on uh, on a hard surface, and it also doesn't dent up the tip of the bullet. The downside is it may leave marks on the bullet. You can probably see there's actually a ring on this bullet from pulling it. Um, this is also a lot quieter too. So if you're living in an apartment or something like that, you don't want to be making a whole lot of noise, banging on a bullet puller. This is pretty quiet. You're not going to disturb your neighbors, uh, you know, or your your spouse or whatever. So, anyway, so that's a quick look at uh, at that style of puller, and uh, let's move over and we'll have a look at the uh, other style of puller, which is the inertia style. Okay, this is the second common style of bullet puller, and this is a, an impact or inertia type bullet puller. Uh, basically, you can see it looks like a, a hammer. It's got a polycarbonate head on it and the round which is going to be pulled is put inside this head and it's uh, grasped there by one of these uh, collets here and these collets hold the cartridge unlike the other one the other uh, style of puller that mounts the press the collets actually held onto the bullet in this style the collets actually go around the cartridge case so you can see there's three different sizes of, of uh, collet here and you pick the one which is the closest to your case head size. So we're going to pick the second size here. These ones are differentiated by the number of rings that are on them. And we've got a 7.62 by 39 here. And the collet goes around the cartridge case. And as you can see, it grasps the extractor groove of the cartridge case. And in the case, of course, of a rimmed cartridge, it will grasp it, the cartridge case just ahead of the, the rim. So with that held in place like that, we simply insert the whole thing into the bullet puller like that, and we take the cap and screw the cap onto the end of it. And make sure that that is screwed down tight. So from here on in, we want to make sure we're wearing uh, safety glasses, and then we'll strike the puller on a hard surface. The harder the surface, the better it works, actually. I prefer to use the concrete floor uh, in the basement here. You can also use, you know, uh, anything that's that's really unyielding and hard is, is the best thing. Because essentially what you're doing is when you strike this puller, the rapid deceleration of the puller will cause the bullet, which is in there, to want to carry on ahead. The inertia of the bullet will want to pull it out of the cartridge case, so that's why it's called Here's a bit of a puller. tip if you don't have a collet which fits your ammunition um, very well, but you have a shell holder for your reloading press for that cartridge, you can use your shell holder from your reloading press in your bullet puller. So basically you just hook the uh, the round by the you know the same way it would go into the reloading press and just drop that into the bullet puller and there you go. That will do the same job that the collet will do. The cartridge can't get out of there. It's a little bit looser and rattles around but it will it will do the job. So they caution you when you're using one of these styles of puller uh, not to use it with rimfire ammunition because of course you're grabbing it by the rim and you're striking the thing a fairly violent blow so there's the possibility that you could discharge a rimfire aim round of ammunition because it's being held by the rim. They also caution you not to use this with uh, any kind of incendiary or explosive bullets or anything like that because the shock could conceivably set off that kind of ammunition so 
be highly unlikely that most people are going to be pulling that type of ammunition apart. It's mostly going to be sporting type ammunition that most people are going to be using with this. So anyway, let's go over to the uh, next door here to the concrete floor and I'll show this uh, show this thing in operation. So just one moment here while I get uh, the camera set up again. All right, first things first, I'm going to put my uh, face protection on here. I have a lot of tools down in the basement, so I've got a face shield, which is handy, so we'll use that. And uh, we'll strike the puller on the cement floor. Now, the ideal thing is to land a blow where the uh, impact of the handle or of the head is pretty much parallel to the uh, to the concrete. So you want to also want to make sure that the cap here is very tightly screwed on. And these uh, military rounds can be quite hard to pull apart. And remember you're not trying to drive nails here. You're not hitting the, uh, you're not trying to drive the, the puller through the floor. You're basically trying to get it to bounce. As you can tell, these are in there pretty good. But you can see that this is actually starting the bullet to pull out. We'll just unscrew it here and check. And you can see there how much the, the bullet has pulled out from its initial position. But of course, this is kind of a noisy proposition. And the bullet's out now. So there's the uh, cartridge case. And I'll go grab uh, something to dump this All in. Alright, I just went and grabbed the uh, pan from my reloading scale. So we'll just dump the, the bullet and the powder out. And uh, there you go. You can see there's the, there's the bullet and there's all the powder. So uh, a little bit more of a noisy proposition than the, uh, call it, bench press mounted tool. But uh, it does do the job. And uh, it's a good way to pull stuff apart for whatever reason. I'm going to do a bunch more of these. I've got a little uh, experiment planned with uh, some of these bullets. Just as curious to see if they'll work in another caliber. So uh, I'll get at it and pull a few more of these.